Angie? We are going to the bus station. So good morning everyone from Surigao. Mm. We've spent the night here. We are off we are off to Bisley. Yeah? Hopefully. Hopefully. Yeah. You glance your everlasting light Let your eyes raise a sharp cover through the crowd What one? Picture mom? Yeah. Uh, picture. <laughs> My friend, picture You want picture? Picture! <laughs> <laughs> From Surigao City! It's good! Coming to some of that, I can't see you. Ah, oh, I still can't see you. There you go. It's because got 10 now. Yeah. We are. I hope this isn't a special trip. A special trip, if you're ever at a bus station, is when they put you in a van and charge you thousands to be the only people in the van. That's not what we want. It's 140 per person to Bislig, and you have to change at Bislig. Nope. You got it wrong. 140 to Batuan. Oh, wrong way round. Mm. 140 to Batuan, and then you swap at Batuan, and you go to Bislig from there. So it's 140 for a van, which gets you there faster. They do drive a bit quicker. I'm a little bit worried about that. But they just tried to put us in the back of a van, and you had like this much space. Um, but we were like, no, 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 we can't fit in there because my knee, I can't have my knee pressed up against the back of the seat in front, and there was about 900 people in a six-seater van. So we're in a van by ourselves so that we could get the front seat for our long British legs because they don't have them over here. Jerry, the driver that we had on our trip to Maynard Lake brought us here this morning. He is an absolutely top guy and we do have his number. So if you're in Surigao and you need a driver, then give us a shout and we'll send you his number to give him a little bit of work because he is a really, really good guy. He doesn't charge you any extortion. He's very fair with his prices and he's a top tour guide to be honest. He is, he's a great guy. He is indeed. So, I'm currently just... Someone on our roof. Hoping for the best. <laughs> Someone's on the roof. Um, just trying to keep an eye out to make sure that nobody just drives off with us and charges us the world. <laughs> <laughs> so, for all the Filipinos that watch our videos, I think I've just seen my first two actual black Filipinos. They have full-on Afro like mine, and I've never ever seen black Filipinos before. Are there black Filipinos in the Philippines or is my eyes deceiving me right now? Leave a comment and let us know. Evening everybody, this is a little bit different to your normal travel day video because we have been on a bus for about 10 hours 
We left Surigao City this morning with Jerry at 9am. He picked us up. We have just arrived at our accommodation and it's six minutes past seven. Chris has been an absolute celebrity every time the bus is pulled over. So now we're in a town called Bislig, which is the very south. It's near Enchanted River, which is what we came down here for. So welcome to Bislake. Mm. The accommodation that we're staying in, we literally didn't book anything and we had absolutely no idea. We had absolutely no idea what we were going to do when we got here. Um, we didn't expect it to be this late when we got here, but instead of getting a bus all the way down, we decided to go for a van. Now, when if you've travelled to the Philippines, you will know that when you turn up to a bus terminal, you have the option to get vans or buses. Now, the buses stop every 30 seconds most of the time to let either locals on and off or to let people come on and off selling things to you like food, crisps, chocolates, buco pies, drinks, them kind of things. We opted for a van because the only reason they stop is to let you off or if someone puts their hand out to say that they want on. So there's 140 peso per person from Surigao City to Botuan and then we changed vans because you can't go all the way, there's no direct route. We changed vans and it took us from Botuan to Bislik, which costs 240 peso per person. Now when you have big bags like we do, be careful that you speak to them at the beginning of the journey because they will add charges on when you give them the money to pay because your bags will probably get put on a seat which will take the room for another person so they'll charge you full price but most of the time you can say no we didn't agree that at the beginning so we paid 240 peso each for the second half of the journey in the van and then we paid 100 peso for one bag to go on one chair so that was fine you arrive be prepared for the tricycle drivers to <laughs> literally climb in the van before you've even stretched to grab your arm and literally be like I am a tricycle driver, I will take you where you need to go. But obviously we didn't know where we needed to go because we hadn't booked anything. So we got off off the van and within a second we were just surrounded by, by people and that just makes my head go, I just don't know what to do, I'm all like disorientated and I'm like oh my god, go away from me, give me a second. And Chris is there, like the professional, hustling them all like, so how much are you gonna take us for and what about you? And he's there like talking to them all, getting right involved. And within like three minutes of him talking to a couple, this tricycle driver comes running across the road like he was in the Olympics and stops dead next to Chris and went, I am a tricycle driver, where are you going? That sounds a bit Jamaican, he didn't sound Jamaican. But you get the idea. I don't think they're too used to having tourists down here because he instantly, we normally get charged like within the hundreds of pesos, don't we? Um, yeah. <coughs> people are like, oh, I'll take you here for 200 pesos and you have to bring them down and bring them down. But this guy was like, where are you going? And we found like an accommodation on the map and was like, let's just give it a go. We arrived here and it's called Paper Country Inn and it cost us 60 pesos to get here. We gave him 70 because we didn't have the change and he didn't give us change either, so don't expect that. Make sure you've got actual smaller money on you if you don't want to pay more. But other than that, we're at the Paper Country Inn and we walked in and instantly were greeted by three very friendly faces who were like, welcome to Bislig, the English was perfect. How was your journey? You look very tired. Let me take you to your room. No fuss, it cost us 900 pesos for the night which is cheaper than yesterday, and yesterday cost us 13, so 900 is, what, 11? Mm, roughly, yeah. Yeah, bargain, 11 pounds. So they've got a restaurant in the, in the hotel that we're in, so we're gonna go and take a look, so we'll take you with us. Mm, as much as I love prawns, I don't really like taking them out the shell, but I don't think I have a choice. Mm-mm. Thank you. How does it feel to be a local celeb in the Philippines? Yeah, I mean, you know, just out here taking photos, getting packed. Yeah, it's a great life. Great life. Love it. Love it. You having fun? I'm starving. And I didn't know how hard it was to actually peel a prawn. I don't think I'm doing it right. I've got the greasiest hands of life. That is disgusting. 
You're disgusting. But. Makes me sad. I hate pulling animals apart. Because <laughs> that's how I see it. But. Needs must. Like, I'm legit. Like. Starving. Anyway, guys. Today's video isn't one that we would normally post because we have really haven't filmed that much and it's more information but um the reason we're putting it up is because we had a few people comment before we came away saying that one thing that they wanted to see more of was our transportation and information on how to get to different places so um that's why we're putting this up just for those purposes it's literally going to be about five minutes long i'm guessing when it goes up but if there is anything that you want to know about the journey that we've done today, if we haven't given you that information, then please let us know. But if not, then we're going to say goodnight because we're exhausted after 10 hours of sitting on our bums. I know it's hard to believe because we've done nothing, but we are. So thank you very much for watching this little mini vlog and we will see you at Enchanted River.